Hey everyone, this is Kamran and today we're going to talk about the GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions are really powerful and they allow you to automate your workflows. I've been using them in roadmap.sh so whenever I push something it automatically runs the actions and the website is deployed automatically to roadmap.sh. They are written normally in the form of YAML files and can be found on the GitHub directory called .github under the workflows. Here I have a file called deploy.yaml with a workflow called deployment to GitHub pages. And it is instructing GitHub that whenever I push to the branch master, it should run the jobs that I have listed here. So first of all, it will run the job called build that is going to be running on a Ubuntu container. So first of all, it will clone the repository using this action. Then it will set up the node version 12. Then it will install the dependencies, run the build, and then it will simply deploy the project to the GitHub pages. You can find the history of all the GitHub actions run in the actions tab. So if I go to the actions tab, so this is the most recent run. And if I go here and click the build, so under the build job, we have all the actions that were run and you can click and see the logs for all the commands that were run. Let's write our own workflow to see how it is working. Here on my local I have a HTML file called index.html with some text. Then under the test directory I have a dummy file which is just printing that the tests are passing. And then in my package.json I have two scripts. One called build which is just logging that the code has been built. And the test script is just running the dummy file that we have. I've already pushed the code base to GitHub and deployed it to the GitHub pages branch. And you can see the output on the URL at this page but i have done it manually and you will see that i don't have any actions at this moment let's automate this process that whenever i push something to the master branch it will automatically build and deploy the changes onto the website without us doing anything to do that i will go to the code base and create a directory called github under that i will create another directory called workflows and inside that we're going to have a file called deployment.yaml which is going to be holding our workflow. Inside this file first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name. So our job name is going to be deployment. Next we have an event on which we want to run our action because we want to run our workflow on the push. So we are going to add the push on the branches master. It can be an array of branches but in our case we are only going to have master for now. Next we have a list of jobs that we want to run under this workflow. So our first job is going to be called build which is going to run on Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a container or the machine that we want our workflow to run on. And the steps that we are going to put for that are first of all pull the repository and check out the branch using the action called checkout. Checkout is one of the official github actions and there are a lot of actions available from the community as well. To deploy our website to github pages we are going to use one such action called github pages deploy action which we give the branch and the folder that we want to deploy and it will automatically deploy our website to the github pages. Secrets is something that we are not going to cover in this lesson but github provides the secrets under the secrets variable. This action requires a github token. So we are taking it from the github token secret and giving it to the action using the environment variable called github underscore token. So now let's commit our changes and see how it works. So I'm going to commit all of my changes and push it to github. And now if I go to the browser and refresh you will see an orange dot which means that our action is running. And now if I click the details button it will take me to the actions tab where we can see our action running. It will go through all the steps and after some time our deployment will be finished. And now if I go back to the repository page, you will see that our orange circle has turned into a check now, which means that our action was successful. Let's go back to the code base and add some more steps. So I'm going to add the steps for build and test, but to do that, we are going to require node as well. So in our steps after the checkout, we are going to set up the node version 12. So I will add another action called setup node with node version set to 12. And I will also add two more steps to run build and the test. Next, before we push our changes to GitHub, let me add some changes to our index.html file. So to make sure that our changes are getting deployed, I'm going to open index.html and just add three exclamation marks here. And then I will open the terminal, add my changes to staging and push it all to GitHub. And now if I go to the browser and refresh, you will see the orange circle, which means that our build is running. And if I click the details and go to the actions page, you will see that we have our new steps in the build steps also the build and the test. If I click build you see that we have our echo built and in the test it is also showing that the tests are passing. 
go back to the github repository and you will see that our action is now successful and now if i open the website and refresh you will see that our changes are being reflected now let's go back to the code base and see what happens when one of our build steps fail so i'm going to make our test cases fail by throwing an error i'm also going to make some changes to our index.html to see that if our changes are deployed on failure or not next i'm going to go to the terminal commit my changes and push them to github and now if I open the browser and refresh, you will see the orange dot, which means that our build is running. Click this and go to the build detail page. Wait for the build to finish. You will see that our build failed at running the test cases and no steps after that were run. And if I click and expand the failed step, you will see the error that made the build to fail. Now if I go to the repository landing page, you will see a cross mark, which means that our build was failed. And if you go to the website, you will see that our changes were not deployed. GitHub Actions are really powerful and you can do a lot with them to automate your workflows. And also you can find a lot of GitHub Actions made by the community on GitHub and in the marketplace which you can use to automate your workflows. And the other good thing about them is that they are completely free for the open source. And with that our lesson comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lesson.